Well, when a family has a child that's been catastrophically injured, whether it's a brain injury or a spinal cord injury, uh, the problem that they face is that any income that they earn as a parent is deemed to the child. So that can cause ineligibility because they have too much income or too much assets. So in those instances, typically there's going to be a spend down that would be required. The family has to shed some of those assets um, and income in order to qualify for the Medicaid benefits because uh, otherwise that income and asset uh, that the parent has is, is going to disqualify the child. There are some programs um, that can be applied for that may be needs-based but don't have the same financial eligibility requirements, so the parents uh, really need to explore the different programs within each state to see if there are programs that they can qualify even though they may have too much income. There are some programs which have a shared cost where the parent pays a portion and Medicaid picks up uh, part of the rest of uh, the care because while the parents have too much assets to qualify for uh, the complete Medicaid coverage, they don't have enough assets to pay for all the child's care. So it's just a matter of the parent taking some time and investigating the different programs that are available within their state.